The Bay of Fundy, or Fundy Bay, French, Bay de Fundy is a bay between the Canadian provinces of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, with a small portion touching the U.S. state of Maine. It has an extremely high tidal range. Portions of the Bay of Fundy, Shepody Bay and Minas Basin, form one of six Canadian sites in the Western Hemisphere Shorebird Reserve Network, and are classified as a hemispheric site. It is administered by the provinces of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, and the Canadian Wildlife Service, and is managed in conjunction with Ducks Unlimited Canada and the Nature Conservancy of Canada. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Some sources believe the name, Fundy, is a corruption of the French word fendu, meaning split, while others believe it comes from the Portuguese funda, meaning deep. The bay was also named Bay Francaise French bay by Samuel de Champlain during a 1604 expedition to St. Croix Island. Tides <inaudible> <inaudible> The Bay of Fundy has a high tidal range. Oceanographers attribute it to tidal resonance resulting from a coincidence of timing. The time it takes a large wave to go from the mouth of the bay to the inner shore and back is practically the same as the time from one high tide to the next. During the 12.4 hour tidal period, 115 billion tons of water flow in and out of the bay. According to the Canadian Hydrographic Service, there is a 16.8 meters (55 foot) tidal range in Leaf Basin for Ungava Bay and 17 meters (56 feet) at Burnt Coat Head for the Bay of Fundy. The range at Leaf Basin is higher on average than at Minus Basin. However, the highest recorded tidal ranges ever measured are at Burnt Coat Head and result from spring tides measured at the peak of the tidal cycle every 18 years. The highest water level ever recorded in the Bay of Fundy system occurred at the head of the Minus Basin on the night of October 4-5, 1869, during a tropical cyclone named the Saxby Gale. The water level of 21.6 meters (71 feet) resulted from the combination of high winds, abnormally low atmospheric pressure, and a spring tide. The tides in the Bay of Fundy are semidiurnal, which means that they have two highs and two lows each day. The height that the water rises and falls to each day during these tides are approximately equal. There are approximately 6 hours and 13 minutes between each high and low tide. Topic Tidal electrical power generation Topic. Alternative forms of energy are being explored in depth in a number of unique areas. Tidal energy harnesses the movement of ocean water to generate electricity through a number of mechanisms. Currently a process of gathering tidal energy called in-stream turbine technology is being tested in the Minas Passage, Nova Scotia. This project is being spearheaded by the Fundy Ocean Research Center for Energy or Force. In stream tidal turbine technology is a relatively simple design. An elevated turbine is submerged underwater in a location that enables its movement with tidal cycles. As the blades of the turbine move, they create energy that powers an electric generator at the base. From here the power travels to a cable attached to the seafloor and back to an off-site facility where it can be added to the power grid. While this technology has shown to be successful in its early stages of testing, FORCE has not officially begun the process for energy collection. However, the installation of the undersea cable in December 2013 indicates that the project is moving along swiftly. A megawatt-scale turbine was installed at Cape Sharp near Partridge Island in November 2016. Its owner, Open Hydro, went in insolvency in August 2018. The project is thus finished. Topic: Geology. Topic: The Bay of Fundy lies in a rift valley called the Fundy Basin. As the rift began to separate from mainland North America, volcanic activity occurred, forming volcanoes and flood basalts. These flood basalts poured out over the landscape, covering much of southern Nova Scotia. Sections of the flood basalts have been eroded away, but still form a basaltic mountain range known as North Mountain. As a result, much of the basin floor is made of tholeitic basalts giving its brown color. The Rift Valley eventually failed as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge continued to separate North America, Europe, and Africa. Sub-basins. 
The upper part of the bay splits into Chinecto Bay in the northeast and the Minas Basin in the east. Chinecto Bay is further subdivided into Cumberland Basin and Shepody Bay and the extreme eastern portion of Minas Basin is called Cobequid Bay. Some of these upper reaches exhibit exposed red bay muds, for which the Bay of Fundy is noted for their appearance and biological productivity. Cape Chinecto defines Chinecto Bay whereas Cape Split defines the Minas Channel, leading to the Minas Basin. The Minas Channel connects the Minas Basin with the main body of the bay. The channel is 5.6 km miles across and approximately 106.7 m deep. The tides that flow through the channel are very powerful. They are as powerful as 8,000 train engines or 25 million horses. Facing Cape Split at the entrance to the Minas Channel are the basalt cliffs of Cape Dor. The lower part of the bay is also home to four important sub-basins, Passamaquoddy Bay and Back Bay on the New Brunswick shore, Cobbscook Bay on the main shore, and the Annapolis Basin on the Nova Scotia shore. The bay is home to several islands, the largest of which is Grand Manan at the boundary with the Gulf of Maine. Other important islands on the north side of the bay include Campobello Island, Moose Island, and Deer Island in the Passamaquoddy Bay area. Briar Island and Long Island can be found on the south side of the bay while Isle Oat is in the upper bay off Cape Chinecto. Smaller islands and islets also exist in Passamaquoddy Bay, Back Bay, and Annapolis Basin. The five islands, in the Minas Basin, are particularly scenic. The Bay of Fundy is also home to another interesting geologic feature, the Hopewell Rocks Formation. This formation is where the famous flower pot rocks are located on a short, one kilometer long portion of Shepody Bay. These rocks are shaped by the tides, the strength of the rocks, and the presence of the joints in the rocks. The rock in the cliffs the stacks are being cut from are arcosic sandstone and coarse poorly sorted conglomerates. The tides that are eroding away the cliffs are between 10.7 meters 35 feet and 14.7 meters 48 feet high on average. Topic. Rivers. Topic. The bay receives the waters of several rivers, including New Brunswick Big Salmon River Little Salmon River Magogwadovic River Memramcook River Petit Kodiak River Quiddy River St. John River Street Croix River Shepody River Tantramar River Upper Salmon River Nova Scotia Annapolis River Avon River Cornwallis River Debert River Farrell River Salmon River Shubenacadie River Kennetcook River The bay's extreme tidal range causes several interesting phenomena in the various rivers which empty into it. Near the mouth of the St. John River, where it passes through the city of St. John, is the famous Reversing Falls. Here the changing tide causes alternating strong upriver and downriver flows several times a day as the tidal cycle changes. A narrow granite gorge and rocky bottom heavily restricts water flow and creates strong rapids that flow upriver at high tide, and downriver at low tide. Rivers in the upper bay of Fundy have a smaller flow rate than the St. John, and a shallower slope. As a result, extensive mud flats are deposited throughout the tidal range of the rivers. Another phenomenon which occurs in these rivers of the upper bay is a tidal bore, where a wave front of water bores its way up a river against its normal flow. The narrow and shallow river estuaries around the upper bay of Fundy regularly produce bores when the advancing tide is slowed by shallow waters creating a buildup with a steep surge of advancing water. Tidal bores are found on the Salmon River at Truro, the Petit Kodiak River at Moncton as well as on the Shubenacadie River, the St. Croix River, the Macan River, Kennet Cook River and at River Herbert. One of the better examples of a tidal bore can be seen on the Shubenacadie River near the town of Truro and the village of Maitland, where local ecotourism operators offer the chance to experience rafting the bore upriver. Another good example of a tidal bore may be viewed on the Salmon River in the town of Truro. The once famous tidal bores on the Petit Kodiak and Avon rivers have been severely disrupted as a result of causeway construction in the 1960s to 1970s which have caused excessive siltation. Topic: Communities. Topic: 
The largest population center on the bay is the New Brunswick city of St. John. St. John is the port city of the Bay of Fundy. The port is Canada's third largest port by tonnage with a cargo base that includes dry and liquid bulk, brake bulk, containers, and crews. St. John is the oldest incorporated city in Canada. During the reign of George III, the municipality was created by Royal Charter in 1785 by a union between the former towns on each side of the harbour, per town and Carleton. The New Brunswick towns of St. Andrews, Black's Harbour, St. Martins and Sackville as well as the Nova Scotia towns of Amherst, Persboro, Truro, Windsor, Wolfville, Annapolis Royal, and Digby are also on the bay. History The Mi'kmaq fished in the Bay of Fundy and lived in communities around the bay for centuries before the first Europeans arrived. The first European settlement was at Ile Saint Croix and then Port Royal was founded by Pierre Dugua, Sieur de Mons and Samuel de Champlain in 1605. The village was the first permanent European settlement north of St. Augustine, Florida. Two years later, the English made their first permanent settlement in Jamestown, Virginia, approximately 75 years after Port Royal was founded. Acadians migrated from the capital and established what would become the other major Acadian settlements before the expulsion of the Acadians Grand Pre, Chinecto, Cobequid, present day Truro, Nova Scotia, and Pisaguit, present day Windsor, Nova Scotia. There were numerous naval battles as well as naval attacks on the settlements surrounding the Bay of Fundy. Port Royal was raided numerous times during the Acadian Civil War. During the American Revolution, American privateers raided the villages along the shores of the Bay of Fundy such as the raid on St. John 1775, the Battle off Cape Split and the raid on Annapolis Royal 1781. After the war, the boundary between the United States and the newly created province of New Brunswick remained uncertain, resulting in a thriving smuggling trade in the region, especially on the waters of Passamaquoddy Bay. The bay saw some action during the War of 1812 as well, mostly in the form of privateering and small patrol ships. After the War of 1812, the smuggling resumed and culminated in the so-called Plaster War of 1820. The Bay of Fundy's ports and basins became major shipbuilding and shipping centers in the 19th century. Led at first by shipbuilders like James Moran of St. Martins, New Brunswick, shipbuilding to all shores of the Bay of Fundy and eventually included shipbuilders such as Joseph Salter in Moncton and William D. Lawrence of Maitland, Nova Scotia who built some of the largest sailing ships ever constructed in Canada. Among other accomplishments, Fundy Ports produced the fastest ship in the world, the ship Marco Polo, the largest wooden ship ever built in Canada, the ship William D. Lawrence, and the first female sea captain in the Western world, Molly Cool of Alma, New Brunswick. The fabled mystery ship Mary Celeste was also built on the bay. <laughs> Ports and shipping the Port of St. John gives access to the pulp and paper industry and the Irving Oil Refinery. Hantsport, Nova Scotia, on the Avon River is also home to a pulp and paper mill and is the shipment point for raw gypsum exports to the United States. The ports of Bayside, Charlotte County, near St. Andrews, and Eastport, Maine, are important local ports. A result of shipping traffic has been the potential for increased collisions between ships and the North Atlantic right whale. In 2003, the Canadian Coast Guard adjusted shipping lanes crossing prime whale feeding areas at the entrance to the Bay of Fundy to lessen the risk of collision. The bay is also traversed by several passenger and automobile ferry services. St. John, New Brunswick, to Digby, Nova Scotia, operated by Bay Ferries Limited. Grand Monon Island to Blacks Harbor, New Brunswick and Whitehead Island, New Brunswick, to Grand Monon Island, operated by Coastal Transport Limited. Deer Island to Letate, New Brunswick, the Letate to Deer Island Ferry, operated by the New Brunswick Department of Transportation Campobello Island, New Brunswick, to Deer Island. Eastport, Maine, to Deer Island, operated by East Coast Ferries Limited. Westport, Nova Scotia, Briar Island, to Freeport, Nova Scotia, Long Island. Tiverton, Nova Scotia, Long Island, to East Ferry, Nova Scotia, operated by Nova Scotia Department of Transportation and Public Works. Topic: Parks and protected areas. 
Topic. A number of parks preserve and interpret the Bay of Fundy's coastal ecosystem. They include Fundy National Park in New Brunswick and Cape Chinecto Provincial Park and Five Islands Provincial Park and Blomidon Provincial Park in Nova Scotia. The Canadian Wildlife Service maintains a number of national wildlife areas in the Bay of Fundy including a proposed designation of Isle Oat in the middle of the bay. The Fundy Trail extends from the Fundy Trail Parkway at Big Salmon River to Fundy National Park. See also Topic. Central Nova Tourist Association – Tourism Association representing Cumberland and Colchester County. Tidal Power Topic. References Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Travel and Science Information on Bay of Fundy Region Bay of Fundy NASA Earth Observatory Official Bay of Fundy Tourist Site Central Nova Tourist Association The Quadi Loop around Passamaquoddy Bay, in the Bay of Fundy Where the Bay Becomes the Sea, a documentary on the Bay of Fundy Ecosystem Bay of Fundy Ecosystem Partnership, scientific and popular information about the Bay the official tourism site for Campobello Island, New Brunswick Tourism New Brunswick's Bay of Fundy